Hi all, uh, had a bunch of requests to do uh, a lesson on uh, 10 years gone, so uh, figure we might as well get to that. Um, we'll get right into it. The, the main thing to know on the tuning is it's standard tuning except the, uh, the low E string is dropped down to D. So it's... Just gotta drop that low, that low E down to D. So, uh, it starts off like this. It, it's in A, and there's really kind of, uh, there's that. The intro is kind of the same as the verse, so that's one section. Then it does the solo part, that's another one. Then it does those chords coming out of the solo. So there's like three or four different parts to it, but uh, once you got those, you got the whole thing strung together. So the, the opening part uh, during that intro, before the vocal and everything, but, but again, this is the same as when he starts singing, um, it goes like this. <laughs> So we'll just do that little bit right there. Start with an A. You know how to do A. <laughs> if you're trying to play this song, you should probably uh, already know these chords. And if you don't know how to do an A, uh, learn that and then come back to this later. So you do all the way through the B string. And just take your finger off the B string. So back to the, the G string, back to the B. And that chord, I don't know what it's called, somebody will probably post what it's called, but it's uh, A string open, D string at the third fret, G string at the second fret, and B string again at the third fret. So it kind of looks like that, those two, and then this one in between and behind it. So we'll do that. Back to an A again. So he kind of runs up through the strings, and when you listen to it, uh, at least it sounds like to me, he's not really doing the same picking each time, and the timing of it is a little bit odd to me, but uh, I don't know if it, that's because he was recording it live with, with Plant's vocal, guide vocal, or real vocal, I have no idea, but it just, it, it sounds a little bit different each time, so listen to it and get a feel for it, but it's basically this. <laughs> again so you do then as it was all that all that other stuff when he's doing the vocal part and then what for the last one he just kind of goes like this before he goes into the so it's just kind of instead of going he just does that. the money chord of the song in my mind. Jimmy uses this one occasionally. Um, I don't know what it's called, but the A string is at the one, two, three, sixth fret. The D string is at the seventh. The G string is at the fifth. And the B string is also up at the seventh, so it looks like that. I don't know what it's called, but you'll find that you can move that anywhere up and down the neck, and that chord is also in like uh, he used it in the Wanton song when he's doing the bridge part into the solo. So it goes. This is, uh, well, that's just basically your E minor 7. All the way across at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7th fret, the B string covered at the 8th, and the D string covered at the 9th. So that one. There's this one, bar all the way across the 5th fret, the D string is at the 7th, the G string is at the 6th, and then the B string is at the 7th, so you got that. So it goes from this E minor 7 to whatever this is, and just move that one down 2 frets. And then it's this part. So that's the low E string, which is now tuned down to D, but it's uh, second fret, fourth fret. So it's then you hit that open A string. A string at the third fret. That's open D string, and then D string at the third. Third fret to second fret, and then open A. Okay, so here's the sort of the main riff, and that's the 
an A chord, and then on to the G string at the 4th fret, and then back off to the 2nd. Okay, so you've you got D string at the 5th, and G string at the 4th, and those are the, you're only playing, for this main riff part, you're only playing those three strings. You play the A string, D string, and G string. And here's the hardest part of the whole song. <laughs> Okay, so it's that chord shape, D at the 5th, G at the 4th, go up two frets on the G string, keep the D right where it is, it's hard to get that change man, it is, you know, to hit it clean is hard. So now it goes from that one. Now you're playing open A string, D string at the 4th, and G string at the 2nd. Almost like an F sharp minor, kind of, except the A string's open. And then again on that G string. Keep everything where it is and cover the on and off on that G string from 4th to 2nd again. So really that, the, the D string is just going... So you're walking down that D string for that little rip. So that last one is D string at the third, G string at the second, and then again you go on and off on that G string up two frets. And you add down an A. And then it's into the, the vocal. Okay, so you've gone through all that, and then you go through one more of these. Right? And then the guitar solo starts. Which is, when you're in the solo, it starts a... I don't know what this chord is, it's a D something. And it's just an open D string, and then cover those three at the second fret. The G, B, and E at the second fret. Now this is a, a G chord. So you really want to play the top four strings, but since the E string is tuned down two steps from E down to D, to play a G, as if you would play it like a, e, a G5 chord, like that, you have to move the E string up two, because it's tuned down two. So that's really just the G. I just walk it down one fret, those two, both at the E and the A, both at the fifth fret, go down to the fourth fret on the E. Okay, this is like, sort of like an E minor seven-ish thing, I don't know what it is, but I do it as uh, both the, the, the low two strings, the E and the A are at the second fret, the B is at the third, and the high E is at the second. Back to that first chord, that D thing, those three. And then, so the solo's over and it goes into this part. So that's just those top two strings. So you're at the seventh fret, seven to nine. Down to the fifth. That same D thing. Just make you gotta whack that low string. Although he might be playing that on this part, he might be playing just those two and leaving the high E open. I can't really hear it. It might be that with the E open. Listen to it yourself and see what you think it is. So then it goes through that, through the whole, through that rock part. Did you ever really, did, 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 you know, that part. And you knew you would, did, did. okay, coming out of the solo, right? That's that chord coming out of the solo. So that's uh, open A string, D at the second, G at the first, and uh, B at the second. So it's kind of uh, 
it's that same opening chord, except it's all moved down a fret. So if instead of doing it here, you do it here. Go for that A. Now this D thing rears its ugly head again. <laughs> That's open D string and those uh, the remaining three at the second fret. That's that G again. Just those, the top four strings, forget the two highest ones. The top four strings, those two are covered and the other two are open. That's just a C, but leave the B string open. Second fret on the D, third fret on the A string. Then does it again. I mean, in, in between there you can hear him kind of... He's kind of just embellishing it by playing that high E string at the fifth fret. Uh, every once in a while they go like that. And now we're at the end of the solo and it's... And that's, those are all the parts of the song. At the end it goes through one last verse and then it plays out on... It just fades out on that and he's wailing away up here. On the uh, on the guitar fills at the end, so that's the whole thing. Those are all the parts, and uh, you know, just listen to it and get a feel for when the changes come and everything. But it's, it's fairly straightforward, apart from the tuning that low E string down to D. Good luck. <laughs>